What is happening, Magnum Sites? Get over the screen, junkies, and subscribe. They are hilarious! Now, let's get uh, it on with this honest trailer <laughs> for Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Before the Flash gives bail to hide in an alternate timeline, and the whole DCU starts to stink like a dead fish, catch one of the last installments before the whole universe gets James Gunn down in its prime. <laughs> as long as I still breathe, the dome still stands. Okay, past its prime. I, I was gonna say, I don't. Okay, think way it's past prime. its prime. <laughs> Shazam! Exclamation point! Fury of the Gods. With the director returning for what he hopes is the last time, comes the long-awaited sequel to Shazam! Exclamation point! That follows up the charming original with two plus hours of high fructose cape slot. <laughs> Where all the best drama went down off camera as the rocks <laughs> attempt to be DC's hierarchy of power broker backfired so hard it tanked two films. The desire to succeed will never be as powerful as having the guts to fail. And gave Zach Levi a mental breakdown because he couldn't put Hawkman in the credits or whatever. We had an awesome scene that would have tied me in to the JSA. Doesn't Hawk he look Man. just like, like Reed Richards? We were thwarted. Result think he'd make a great read, Richard. The closest thing we'll get to Shazam versus Black Adam is the actor's dueling vitamin brands, Flow Supplements versus Zo Energy, <laughs> whose pills will you swallow? <laughs> Since we last saw him, Billy Batson turned movie 17. Now, even his t-shirts are too old to still be living at home. With six minutes of total screen time, Ash yeah, Ranger yeah, acts like a all. kid with a 9 to 5 and mouth to feed. All in a night. That's the rule. I'm calling an emergency meeting after school. I want you there. While well, Zachary acts like a youth pastor who just drank his first soda. If they just point that staff at us, we dodge. Too silly. Too I silly. Way too silly. Take down this sphery domey magic bowl thing. What do you even have a job? Wonder Woman doesn't have a job. No, no, seriously. You think she wears a ponytail and glasses and like nobody recognizes her? She's like an accountant or something? Just stop. Yeah. Has anyone told <laughs> these two they're playing the same character yet? I know. They even met? They're not the only ones with mismatched kid and super selves. There's like eight other people to keep track of. Like Freddie Freeman, who powers up from standard everyday teenage horny to a new super horny form. You're gonna wanna hold on tight. <laughs> Mary, who's aged out of the getting a new actor to play her Shazam self. Either that or DC saw the old actress post about January 6th. Plus Eugene and Pedro, uh -oh. who were granted the minimum legal amount of character development thanks to a new California state program. Where's Eugene? Where he always is, mapping out the room of doors. Oh, okay. Yeah, we know, bud. <laughs> Great job, you two. And Darla, a part-time character in a movie and full-time Skittle spokesperson. Why were there Skittles in my pocket? What's supposed to be a surprise? Yeah, I don't know how that worked. Good, isn't that it? That was fun. Take the rainbow, motherfucker! <laughs> When three goddesses come to Earth to punish humanity, refashion their dad's broken staff, put a bubble around Philadelphia, and also find the seed of life in an effort to restore their realm, and also destroy Earth? Okay, screw all that. When three goddesses come to Earth to get body slammed into hospice care. <laughs> <laughs> stupid on a dragon. You think I will destroy you? And molest a disabled teenager. I'm over 6,000 years old. The uh, Shazamily will bravely fly into action <laughs> and get bounced around like Technicolor beach balls. Mm -hmm. Because it turns out super fights are super boring when everyone has God mode turned on. And the villain's magic just doesn't work on the hero for reasons. <laughs> Impossible. Watch these impossible dig deep and save Philadelphia, a city that will cram their mouths full of horse poop and appreciation. But aside from its original setting, well, for superhero movies at least. Frank, give me the gun. We're in a hurry. Come on. Where is it? It's in your hand. Wait, wait. What the hell did I put Green Man on? Strap in for two hours of the same tropes Marvel and DC have been leaning on for decades. <laughs> like pointing out superheroes have silly names. I'm Freddie Freeman. 
Captain Every Power, the Philadelphia Fiasco, Thundercrack Snake of <laughs> Dynamic Duo, the Hotty Gotties, Cheese Am. It's Maximum <laughs> Voltage, actually, amongst other names. We're still kind of workshopping it, so. Pointing out to the audience the crazy thing that just happened. How are you actually sisters? Because the age difference is very noticeable and slightly upsetting. There's only so many mentors that can run over with this fact. <laughs> Did I just save you while you were listening to this song? Destroying a professional sports stadium. <laughs> Cameos only the most hopeless nerd would recognize. <laughs> Cameos you kind of recognize from that other thing. Yes, Captain Marvel. And cameo. I meant to you tell you guys that. Recognize, that my, uh, no matter how out of place or my first review. A child's funeral. So kick back for a superhero movie that feels like it was written by ChatGPT that proves superhero films aren't dead per se, but shows that when you have nothing new to add, just make a Fast and Furious joke and be done with it. At least that's what we do when we're out of ideas. Because I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family! So who plays Queenie Shaw in the DC Universe? Or Luke Hobbs? Are they excited for Aquaman to be in the next one? Did they like Wonder Woman in Fast Five? Did they recognize the wizard from Fast Seven? What about Peacemaker in mm. Fast Nine? Do they know Black Superman is in the Suicide Squad? Ooh, what about Michael Rooker? Hmm. Scoring. <laughs> Please clap. How do you do, fellow kids? Aaron Taylor Johnson. The Ironist. The Wizard of Yas. Rachel. Helen of Ploy. Lucy in the sky with demons. Big Quilly style. Waiting for Godot. And when you tell someone with a joke, Rabbi, that the Snyderverse is dead. <laughs> Teen Titans? No. No. What's happening to all the people inside these office buildings? <laughs> yeah. Would I rather be feared? Never thought or about loved? that. Thought it was just an optical illusion taken from Inception, and then Doctor Strange, right? Inception did some of that shit first, and then it was Doctor Strange, correct? Yeah. Anyway, great video as usual. And even putting out some things I didn't even notice. Uh, I do not think that uh, The Rock uh, keeping those couple, uh, other couple <laughs> of characters out would have made any damn difference with how this, the success of this. Unless they were going to be in there a lot more and do a lot more stuff. They need to have him be more serious as Shazam because he just, he acts like he's 10 rather than a teenager it's it's just ridiculous like the teenager acts more mature than he does when he's uh, i'm done post comments down below let me know what you all think though if you enjoyed my reaction make sure you hit the like button subscribe and share 10 million subscribers Woo!